Our speaker today is Catherine White of Enterprise Partners, which is Southern California's largest venture firm investing in early stage firms. She helps portfolio companies of Enterprise Partners describe and defend their intellectual property rights. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be here today to talk to you all about one of my favorite topics, which is how to review a patent application. So what can you do with your valid patent? Well, if somebody infringes it, there's a lot of things you can do with it. You can get them to pay you a licensing fee. You can sell your patent for, for big bucks to somebody else who would like the power to exclude others from doing that. You can sign cross licensing agreements. In some cases, you can even shut down a factory. If no one infringes it, there's not a lot you can do with your valid patent. So that begs the question as to what does infringement mean? Uh, in order for a product to infringe a patent, it has to infringe a claim. So if a product has each and every one of the elements of a claim, then it infringes that claim. If it is missing one of those elements, then it does not infringe. Or if one of the elements is different than the way the element is described in the claim, then it does not infringe. It can have more elements and still infringe, but if it has less, it does not infringe. So let's take an example. Let's say you invented the chair and you, and you got this claim, which has a, um, a flat area, um, legs to hold the flat area off the ground, and a back. Well, does this purple device infringe that claim? Well, yeah, it does, because it has all three of those elements. Oh, well, what about this white product? Does it infringe that claim? No, it doesn't, because it doesn't have a back. So if someone starts to, so the evil infringer started making this bar stool, you would have no power over him with that claim, and he is free to make that bar stool without a uh, risk of infringement. So what about this um, orange device, the rocking chair? Does that one infringe? Well, yeah, it does. I mean, it's, it's got rockers on it, which is not one of the elements of your claims, but, but y it, it can have more, more elements than your um, claim and still infringe. Um, so this, um, orange device does infringe that claim. So what is your role here? Your role is not to write the application yourself. Your role is to help your patent attorney create a valid patent that's likely to be infringed. 